Now, the Department of Education has created uh, and paid money for the creation of a video game called Echo. So the Department of Education is trying to, here's Echo. Department of Education is trying to have classrooms use this game for students literally for ideological purposes. Echo is, and obviously what they were basing this on was what happens here in Washington, D.C. They were creating a virtual government through a video game. Uh, the students could vote by majority vote as to whether to add something to this government in terms of what their policies were or take it away. But they also ruled, the game, game's rules, that the group's operator could act as a king, issuing all rules by himself or herself. And so if the king didn't like what the students did by majority vote, the king would just simply say, fine, that means nothing. I'm going to implement it anyway. Sounds an awfully lot like what we've been through here under this administration. The vote of the people's representatives in the House of Representatives and in the United States Senate essentially has been bypassed in many, many instances by the President of the United States. And so, once again, through an ideological decision, um, ideological decision made uh, by members of the administration, we now are teaching students that this is how really it works. And if you want to make a difference, we need to give that king all kinds of authority. So um, I de define this as a waste. I define this as a waste of taxpayers' money. The function of government is not to brainwash through video games students into a form of government that violates our Constitution, violates all precedents in terms of how we operate on here. But yet, time and time and time again, we have, I have stood on this floor, members have stood on this floor and simply said, this is the function of the people's representatives. This is the function of how they vote, yay or nay. This is the function of how it works through the process of finding a law, ultimately landing on the president's desk. And yet we have a president who simply says, to heck with all that stuff. I'm just going to implement whatever I want to do. And by the way, let's spend taxpayer dollars to teach children that this is how government should work. I think it's uh, uh, not, not, even, not, not just a shame. I think it's ridiculous and it's way over the top. And so we're adding not a huge amount of number, but through these 52 weeks, we have accumulated $328 billion of waste, fraud, and abuse.